Hello, in this video we're going to look at the, well, we're going to revise the cranial nerves and then we're going to look at where the cranial nerves exits um, uh, the skull. So here is the inferior view of the brain and we're looking at the olfactory nerve here, cranial nerve number one, the optic nerve. Here is your oculomotor, number three, number four is your trochlea, five is trigeminal, six is your abducens. 7 is your facial, 8 is your vestibulococcular nerve, 9 is your glossopharyngeal nerve, 10 is your vagus nerve, 11 is your accessory nerve, and 12 is your hypoglossal nerve. If you want to know the function of these cranial nerves, I have a video on the, an overview video on the functions of the cranial nerves, and I'll provide a link to that. Now let us look um, at where these cranial nerves exits through the skull. Um, and um, so to do that, we have to look at the base of the skull. So this is a superior view of the sc our skull, and we're looking at it from the, essentially the top, and we're looking down, and we've cut it across. Cut it, so we're looking inside the skull, the base. So let's begin with cranial nerve number one, which is your olfactory nerve. Now your olfactory nerve, they, it sits on the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone. And, uh, and its function is for smell. Your optic nerve, your cranial nerve number two, it exits through what's known as the optic canal. Your oculomotor nerve, the trochlear nerve, and your abducens nerve, which are your cranial ner ner uh, nerves number three, four, and six, these nerves are the nerves responsible for the movement of the eyeball. They exit through the same hole known as the superior orbital fissure. So we missed cranial nerve number five, which was your trigeminal nerve. And there are three big branches of your trigeminal, your V1, V2, and V3 branches of your trigeminal. Well, your trigeminal, uh, the V1 branch of your trigeminal, it actually exits also through the superior orbital fissure. Well, what's important to know also is that all these nerves that exit through the superior orbital fissure, which are your oculomotor, trochlea, abducent, and your uh, trigeminal V1 branch, also known as the ophthalmic branch, they actually pass through part of the brain uh, known as the cavernous sinus. And the cavernous sinus is just a collection of essentially venous system, a venous system, and a problems in this cavernous sinus, such as an infection, can cause complications associated with these cranial nerves. So I hope that made sense anyway. So let's look at the other branches of the trigeminal nerve, the V2 and the V3, and where they pass through. So the V2 branch, it passes through the foramen rotundum. The V3 branch, also known as the mandibular branch, exits through the foramen ovale. Cranial nerve number seven is your facial nerve. And your facial nerve exits through the internal acoustic meatus. But there's also the, another nerve that exits through here, which is the cranial nerve number eight, your vestibulococcular nerve. So the facial and vestibulococcular nerve exits through the internal acoustic meatus. Um, the next uh, set of nerves, cranial nerves, exit through also the same hole. So these are your glossopharyngeal, cranial nerve number nine, vagus, cranial nerve number 10, and your accessory uh, spinal nerve, cranial nerve number 11. They exit through the jugular foramen. Then you have the last cranial nerve, which is your hypoglossal nerve, which is your cranial nerve number 12. And this exits through the hypoglossal canal. Quite easy to remember. Just, just to uh, finish everything off, the, this big hole here, this is your foramen magnum. This is where essentially the, the brain stem spinal cord uh, passes through. And interestingly enough, your spinal accessory nerve actually loops down pa uh, through, this, uh, through this foramen magnum before exiting up, back up at that jugular uh, foramen. So the spinal accessory nerve is an exception in terms of how it exits the skull. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Again, if you want to learn more about the cranial nerves, I'll have the link.